That's on Joy News Prime. I'm Gary Al Smith with the sport. The Ghana Premier League has got a new sponsor. That happened a couple of days ago. And there have been critics, and there have been those who have been backing it. The critics say that they are not quite sure about the amounts involved, the pedigree of the sponsor, and other things. However, the GFA communication director believes that all this criticism is not actually, um, you know, in the best interest of the game. We have, you know, resolved that some of these details for the things that it brings, some jealousies, to be honest, let me just be brutally honest with you. Jealousies on the parts of who and who? Some people, you would find, I mean, mm. just the day we finished the sponsorship deal and the deal was signed, you, could, you saw some things posted on various yes, yes. Um, WhatsApp groups. You know, it's, it's nauseating, to say the least, that when people work so hard, they bring things on board and you want to enumerate them, people will try to post, put some twist on it. And this discourages not only the person who brought the sponsorship, but the, the sponsor itself. In the international FIFA calendar, everybody is looking forward to the World Cup. It's 24 days away. But Ghana is looking forward to playing two World Cup-bound teams in its own preparation. Chris Yapia has given Emmanuel Boati of Levante a call-up for the national team's doubleheader against Iceland and Japan. Coach Kwesi Apia released a list of 21 players on Saturday for the two games which the opponents will use to prepare for the World Cup next month in Russia. Despite Jordan, a used fine form for Swansea City in the just-ended Premier League season, he was overlooked. His brother Andre Ayu and captain Asamoah all dropped. Other notable absentees are Jonathan Mensah, Harrison Afo and Majid Waris. And the Adam of Reading and Albert Adoma of Aston Villa returned to the team with maiden colours of Kwesi Otre, of Bayern Munich Team 2 and Emmanuel Boateng of Levante. Two goalkeepers in Richard Ofori of Marisbeck FC and Lawrence Atizigi of Social France. Lomo Agbanyanunu is with Joseph Atama, Isaac Saki, all based in Turkey. Efri Akwa, Kasim Nuhu, Jamna Rafael, Frankie Champon, Boachi Adam, Wakaso Mubarak, Thomas Pate, Edwin Jesse, Thomas E. Japon, Rashi Sumaila, Nicolas Opoku of Club African Tunisia, Nana Ampoma are other players in the team. Let's do some tennis now. The Barclays Bank Tennis Championship saw the Ashanti Tennis Club over the weekend showing great skills and strength of mind to win over the host four Garrison Officers Mess Tennis Club in the first edition of the competition. Ashanti Tennis Club over the weekend showed great skills and strength of mind to triumph over host four Garrison Officers Mess Tennis Club in the first edition of the Ashanti Barclays Bank Tennis Championship. The competition, which involved Ashanti's two leading tennis clubs, was played in two categories. The event, which drew a large crowd, including customers of the sponsors, saw the two clubs winning three games apiece in the singles event. But the visitors, Ashanti Club, had different ideas up their sleeves when it was time for the doubles event as they played with dexterity, great serves and baseline returns that bemused the four garrison players. By the time the teams were going for the final match of the day, Ashanti Club was leading by three games to one, rendering the final match just for the records. The players showed a lot of promise, especially in the doubles event, which left the hundreds of fans present calling for more at the end. Evelyn Aqua, head of affluent segment at Barclays Bank, says the enthusiasm and passion exhibited by the players and the bank's desire to see customers stay fit is motivating enough to see a repetition of the competition next year. Customers is, their, is our concern. So we sponsored the tennis tournament of the Ashanti and the Fort Garrison Club in Kumasi here, so that we encourage our customers to form a habit of playing tennis and joining the club. So I would encourage all to join this club and above all to also join Barclays Premier Banking because on quarterly basis and on annual basis with the Fort Garrison will be hosting this event. President of the Four Garrison Tennis Club, SS Abebe, also shares his impressions on the tournament. You know, you know uh, actually what happened was that uh, the singles was draw. draw. Now the doubles, uh, we had to let it go. And uh, finally, uh, I said it won. So the better team, it was luck. It was luck. It was luck. <laughs> So, we go abroad to the Premier League, and Arsenal 
had been linked in the past week to a new appointment with Arteta. That's Mikel Arteta, the former player, and also the former assistant to Pep Guardiola. However, in the last couple of hours, it's emerged that Unai Emery, who luckily was the manager of PSG, is in talks with the Ghana's management to replace Arsene Wenger. Former PSG manager Unai Emery has been in London right here today for talks with Arsenal and in a further development the leading candidate Mikel Arteta wants assurances over his role in transfer dealings at the club before he agrees whether or not to succeed Wenger. Emery of course is available after losing his job at Paris Saint-Germain that's despite winning the domestic treble. Now in contrast to Arteta, Emery has a wealth of experience before PSG the Spaniard was at Sevilla where he won the Europa League three successive seasons so as well as winning the Europa League three times at Seville Emery led PSG to the domestic treble just last season he also won the domestic cup double in his first season in charge in Paris but we understand Luis Enrique and Arteta raise concerns over Arsenal's new management structure Guillaume Balaguer doesn't believe that would be any kind of problem for Emery who worked under a director of football at Sevilla, a man called Monche, who's now at Roma. He's been told that he wants assurances over the role that he would play in Arsenal's transfer policy before he agrees to join the club as head coach. Specifically, Arteta wants guarantees that he will have a significant say in which players are sold to recoup funds for further player investment. More on that developing story on myjoonline.com during the evening. But I'll be back at 10.30 to uh, let's look at the matter in detail. Meanwhile, as you may have heard, Roman, Roman Abramovich's UK visa is yet to be renewed. Here's the detail. Kremlin's spoken out over Roman Abramovich's visa application, claiming he's the victim of unfriendly and unscrupulous actions. Abramovich is yet to have his UK visa renewed after it expired last month. He missed Saturday's FA Cup final. Well, his application's been lodged, but it's taking longer than usual. It's understood this is because of extra checks that were brought in in 2015 as part of government reform on individuals seeking what are known as tier one investor visas. We've contacted both uh, Abramovich's spokesman and the British government as well, but neither will comment just at the moment.